Hi guys, before I start the video, I'd just like to make a quick announcement. I made this video because I'm sick and tired of all those clickbaiting, view whoring people just want to take advantage of people making the same videos four to six times a fucking year just so they could pretty much get all the views they want. So for the sake of this, I made an entire, pretty much a parody of it. All the tricks you want to pretty much know about Supercart will be in this video. I will never make a video like this again. However, I will never ever make a video like this again. Uh, I did this straight to, for the fact that I'm tired of these fucking people taking advantage of a lot of people in the worst way possible, I think, in my way, just to uh, get views and fame and money bullshit. So this is why I made this video. Here's a shout out to all the people who do it. There you go. This video would not be monetized at all. This video would be ad free, the entire thing. I'm not, I, didn't do, I didn't do this for money or nothing. Entirely ad free. Not one ad will be on this video, guys. So I hope you all enjoy the video. If you didn't enjoy it, I'm sorry, but we'll go back to being regular uh, on Thursday. But yeah, this is just. But if you guys want to see some tricks and stuff, watch this video. I'm sure most of you already know the fucking tricks. But here you go. Enjoy. Fuck you, clickbaiters. Do you want to know how to win money in the bank and always get the top contract? Maybe. You want to know how to win 100% in PvP war. Maybe. Maybe you just want to do unlimited ads for the events to get forward in progress. Well, I got fantastic news. In this video, you're going to pretty much see the most tricks you can do possible in WWE Supercard. That's right. We got money in the bank. We got war PvP, pretty much. And I'll even give you hints on how to get ads. Now, is it going to be almost unlimited? <laughs> no. Uh, but it'll be close. Not really. <laughs> so stay tuned, and we'll break it down for y'all real quick. All right, the first mode I want to talk about is Money in the Bank. Now, Money in the Bank is a simple mode. It's one of the best modes you can play. To get top tier cards in this video, in this game pretty much. You will need 22,800 contracts per card, which is 45.6k per pro. Uh, many people who show you this trick pretty much don't even have the fucking cards, which is the funniest thing. So pretty much what you want to do to get the ultimate, ultimate easiness in this game no matter what tier you win, Goliath, WrestleMania 34, Titan, hell, even Ultimate tier. The higher the tier, the, I'm not sure where the cutoff is for the plus fives. But higher the tier, the more contracts you will get. Because the lower your tier, the lower contracts you get. However, I know for a fact, Titan at least. Titan above, all you need is a full deck of pros. It doesn't matter. They need to be properly proed properly proed and that's about it and maxed out if you can do that you can easily do money in the bank as you guys can see right here this is basically my money in the bank deck as you can see full of wrestlemania pros and events if you do have events it does give you more an advantage just saying but most people do have event cards so yeah if you but if you don't have event cards it doesn't matter you will still kill these cards so we're going to use wrestlemania 34 which is the second lowest tier to goliath as a prime example. So we're gonna jump into a game real quick for you guys to show you the type of cards you're gonna face. Now, these cards are weak as shit. We're gonna go with, we'll start with that. The only way possible you could lose is by not proing these properly, or you could lose one, one statter, which is possible, because they're not as low, and maybe one of your stats is low for just the one statter. But as you can see, you have Silver, which is obviously the, the platinum, I guess you want to call it, is obviously the highest you want to get. This is plus five. Gold is plus fours. And blue is plus three. Orange is plus two. Avoid those oranges. I've hit that shit plenty of times. So, as you can see, Carl Anderson's stat is at 203k as his top stat. Top. So, we got toughness and speed. Obviously, my Jeff Hardy destroys him in either stat by, like, a massive amount of points. And you can see Shane McMahon's top stat is at 204. So they're both around the same ballpark. Either way, 
that's their main stats. And my toughness and speed card, destroy. even with a proc, they don't even come close to you. They still lose by, what is that, 12, 14K range between, give or take? They, they, he got destroyed. And then you get these other cards, 204, 205. Uso is upper mid-tier. Uso is an upper mid-tier card. You got power and charisma. So 205 is a high card. But you could select, for example, you know, Edge isn't really a, a charisma type of guy. Just mediocre. And he, he destroys him still, even with a proc, by almost 10K. Almost 10K. If he uses support, could be even more at this point. So, guys, this is how you succeed in Million to Bake. Now, here you go. Here's Ric Flair and Kevin Owens. Two top, top cards. Ric Flair, I believe, is more powerful than Kevin Owens. 208 is his highest stat. Top tier card, by the way. Top, top tier. I think top 10 for sure. We'll go with someone who's not really charismatic. We'll go with Mick freaking Foley. And remember, these are two stats. So now the, it plays in your favor because they usually only have one good stat. Even if they had two good stats, they would still lose because the points are just way too low to lose. And their procs are way too low. They're 3,000, for God's sakes. Like, it just, it's a joke at this point. So money in the bank, that's the tip. Have a pro deck, not a single deck. Pro full deck of one tier from Titan, WrestleMania 34, and Goliath. And uh, we'll go ahead and finish this off. As you can see, no one touches my AJ Styles. He, he beats everyone by 20 to 30K points. Not even in the same ballpark. So it's a joke. Don't even bother with that. And if you even lose one match, you still will always have an extra card no matter what. So even if you lose that one one statter, which is possible to lose, don't get me wrong, I've seen it happen a couple times because like here's Braun 210. You'll possibly have a card. Like see he's 209 toughness and Bobby was 207 in toughness. So those are matches you could lose, but very, very rare. And it's only the one statters that you could really lose because two stats, you will still destroy one stat at least by 10k, because you have the way you token your cards. I would not put proc on these cards unless for the pro, not for the singles. And there you go, 50 simple points of money in the bank. Do that all day if you want, whatnot. Now, let's go ahead and jump into war, which is actually the most easiest one to glitch or do the trick on. So let's go ahead into that. And uh, so yeah, we're gonna edit my deck real quick. We're gonna actually put in all LMS cards, just all MLS. Uh, if we could stop getting weighted on network, for fuck's sake. All right, you got Triple H, and then they're all yellow arrows, which makes it perfect besides uh, besides Braun, but he'll be a solo anyways. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move my Alexa Bliss to the other side. Boom. So here's my setup, as you can see. And as you can see, no matter what support card you have, that's the highest rarity of support card they're gonna have in war. So if you guys only have a 105, they will only have a SummerSlam 17 uh, card as they or a SummerSlam card as their main support card and a common. So don't worry about that. Now let's get into the game. So this is our deck. This is what we're gonna use now. I'm sure you guys, some, maybe some of you are wondering, why did I put Alexa Bliss on the right-hand side instead of the left-hand side? And if I can get the opportunity to show you in the game, I will gladly will. So let's go ahead and start war. The odds of you finding a very hard opponent are rare. You really don't find amazing opponents, but if you did, uh, yay to you. But I don't think you will have a trouble finding them with this type of deck, because not many people have this type of deck. So what is the secret with LMS cards? Well, it's quite simple. They read as single cards. They are singles by the computer. So I could just go ahead and select Braun Strowman. We're going to either get a Goliath single, which of course is because of Roman Reigns, or you're going to get another WrestleMania 34 single. So the Goliath card's been called. You will not see any more Goliath cards, as you can see. Uh, we want a Divas match. So we're going to go ahead and put Roman and Batista. You'll only see WrestleMania 34 as they're reading Batista, Braun, and Triple H as solo cards. So, you, you like, you'll destroy these cards. There's no way you can lose. 
impossible to lose. The only match you could lose is the Divas match. However, there is a trick there when if you're up in the match. So as you guys, well, I can't even show you on this demonstration, but we'll just get the, another WrestleMania single out the way. And that's pretty much the male standard of LMS. You can't lose. It's impossible to lose. No way. You should 3-0 or 2-1 guaranteed every single freaking round with this deck. Now, if you don't have LMS cards, you could still do the same trick as Money in the Bank. Have high cards. Their cards will still be extremely low. Unfortunately, you do you may run into more humans playing that mode with that type of deck. So, I recommend LMS cards as the main source to get up there. So, so you know what we're going to do? We're going to go ahead and uh, we're going to go ahead and try to get the female now. So I can show you guys what I meant by uh, pretty much tricking the computer with what happens pretty much. So, uh, yeah. Uh, we, might, we actually might have a human here. Igor. This could be a human. But does he know what's coming? I don't know. It could be a human. I don't... That name does sound familiar, but... Okay, this looks like a human. So let's go ahead and see what we can do against this human. Let's we'll start out with Braun. My opponent has left the match. He did have a high Roman Reigns card. At least. So now if they call it two diva matches, I'm pretty much screwed here. Uh, I could have went with my Roman, but... Uh, Alright, so I probably, I might lose this one. Oh yeah, I don't think I'm going to win this one. It's just way too high of a human being for me to... Now, if I selected Roman Reigns first, I would have easily won this, but, uh, yeah, I would have easily won this if I won with Roman Reigns first, but, you know, I just didn't know if it was a human or not, so, until he left the game, so, why did he leave the game? I don't know. You could have won. Dumbass. All right, Igor. Anyways, uh, maybe he got scared because he recognized my name, which, hey, I just lost, so I'm not that much of a threat. Well, if I played it correctly, I would have been more of a threat. All right, Mr. Fuji's guaranteed a bot. So, let's go ahead and jump into where the Divas match will make sense for you. Please call it Divas match. That's what I want to know. Divas match. First match. As you can see, I don't have a lot of time. The, the match will call whatever is on the left side. So, if you have a common on the left, it's going to call the common card first. As you'll see right here, the common comes out from the deck. You could lose. And it actually had the best support possible. I think it was toughness and speed. So, uh, no, it was not toughness and speed. So, that's a guaranteed win. Every time the left diva, whatever tier that card is, will be called first. So, whatever you have on the left side, that's what the tier will call first. No matter what. Uh, and then, of course, you'll get the Goliath here. Guaranteed. There you go. So... That's pretty much how to win PvP. Of course, play the what I played last game. Play it better than I did because I obviously I messed that up completely. I could I should have went with Roman first, but I didn't. And uh, I recommend having momentum because you're gonna run into people like this with this type of deck sometimes. So, but if your Triple H is high like mine and your other card's high, you won't have a problem at all. So I wouldn't be worried about. It. But yeah, that's pretty much how you can get through war. Three zero two one every single opponent in war. It's the same trick as Money in the Bank. Just have a full pro deck of whatever cards, and you'll easily get through this. Very simple. All right. And we got Randy Orton as a freaking pull, baby. All right, anyways. Now we got to get to the unlimited ads. Unfortunately for me, I need to do some work to do this. So we'll be right back after these. All right, guys, so I know a lot of you are wondering, Ed, how can you get unlimited ads so I can progress in events and other modes of the game where I need ads, which is Money in the Bank and, of course, uh, PvP and, like, Royal Rumble and stuff like that, Elimination Chamber. Well, here's the answer. There's no such thing as ads, unlimited ads, and there's no such thing as almost unlimited no such thing. If anyone has ever told you that, you've been clickbaited, you've been lied to. Pretty much. So, let me just break it down real quick. There's no such thing as limited ads in this game. There is a limit to ads in this game. And they added it this season, and it's unfortunate. I'm sorry that a lot of people have been screwed with it. However, it's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. Because you still can complete a lot of things. Just things got more expensive down the road. Like money in the bank is way more harder to do now using credits. 
to get those cards, but they're also not even worth it because you can get a nice, same decent card from LMS for one fourth of the cost of that. So that's why, in my opinion, money in the bank's just not worth it unless you need the, unless you really need a female. That's just my opinion, and you should take it quite well because let's be real. I'm, I've been playing this game for four years. I know what I'm talking about. So money in the bank only is it for females, or if you really need to climb up the tiers. However, LMS is so much more easier if you have the right deck for it. So go ahead with LMS instead. Now, I know a lot of you are wondering, how do you get unlimited ads? Well, eventually, your free bar will disappear from here. Completely disappear. Vanish. And then you're pretty much thinking, okay, all my ads ran out. Not necessarily. You can still bring this thing back on the same device you're using. Now, how? It's pretty simple. What you need to do is close out your entire game. That's step number one. You need to close that out. As you can see here, I have the blue stack screen right now currently. What you wanna do is go into your settings. Now, you can't see this right now, but in, in settings, there's a thing called date and time. It could, uh, on your Android devices or even on your Apple, I'm sure you guys have that setting as well, date and time, where you could pretty much set your date and time now, let me see if I can move this over here so you guys can see it. But I don't know if you can. It doesn't seem like you can at this point. Uh, let me do it with blue stacks. Here you go. So as you can see here, you have automatic date and time, automatic time zone. And this is what you need to use to bring it back. So right now, I currently have it checked, as you can see there. However, I'm going to uncheck both of those. As you can see now, my set date and set time have become clickable. So what you want to do is set your date. Uh, in my opinion, you want to go maybe a couple of days. Like if you're doing a fusion, your thing will disappear. So I'll be careful with that. Uh, it affects your fusion chamber. Like right now we have a currently summer. Like for example, I'm going to show you an example. Right now we have a summer uh, fusion going. I'm going to boost this up a week right now so we're seven days ahead you pretty much get all these notifications from WWE Supercar as you can see right here you get all these notifications of of everything that's happened in seven days so if you get if you see that you know you've done the right thing now we're gonna go ahead and load up Supercard again real quick let me just go ahead and line this up properly a little crooked than before but I'm probably have to expand it now I currently have a blue arrow so give me one second let me download whatever I have to download for this blue arrow obviously I need to get my blue stacks lined up properly much better but it seems like it's, it's still gonna be short no matter where I put it so I'll just do that later so we're at 93% right now. Just give it a second. Let it load up. Yada, yada, yada. All right, we can now enter the game. We'll just go under the same account as usual. All right. Now then, your ads will come back that way. Your, your free button should reappear. If not, up the date and then do it again. It should be there and it will have, you can do it one time a day. I've done it one time a day and you pretty much can go the distance with it. I think you usually run out of ads between 30 to 45 ads a day. That is the limit by the way, guys, 30 to 45 ads a day. Once that you can no longer click it, even though if it's still visible, you can no longer click it. So tell you this right now, it's not unlimited. It's not almost unlimited. It's just temporary until you use up all of your ads, a 30 to 45 range. I don't have the particular number, but it goes different back and forth all the time. And I don't know why. Now then, uh, as I was saying, if you up your thing, look, my fusion chamber is completely gone. You don't see the summer one at all anymore, which is kind of funny because I'm currently, I don't think I'm doing a summer one right now. So I'm going to go ahead and exit out the game, go back into my settings, put back the original time date, obviously. And then just load up Supercard again to show you guys my summer fusions will come back. 
Because there's still like another five or six days left in Summer Fusions. So they should come back after resetting the time. Which is, is weird. I, I kind of find it funny as hell. And as you can see, five days and 18 hours left. So it came back. So if you go up six days, that would disappear. You won't be able to do your fusion. So I recommend going back and changing it once you reset your ads. And that's pretty much how to reset ads, guys. Pretty simple. Now, I can also give you another trick how to win wild mode most of the time. Uh, so wild mode, you guys could use a very simple deck as you can see right here. Wild mode, you just need a season two SummerSlam McMahon and all common cards. All common, not even uncommon. Just put uncommon, put rock, uh, Shawn Michaels, John Cena, the powerful ones of the tier, not like the other cards. And then, of course, you want to have Natalia, and I would say Rosa Mendez is her next best bet with that, but don't worry about that. And then just have a Vince McMahon. And then, because everything goes off your top eight, all your pulls obviously come off top eight. So it doesn't even matter if you're in super rare here, you're still pulling from Goliath plus plus, no matter what. So, what you want to do is look for the opponent that you know you can easily beat. Anyone with under 100 games here, you can beat hands down easily. There's some times when you run into one guy who literally has a bomb deck. Uh, possibly a bomb deck, but you'll see. Uh, here you go. Here's a guy with a 1,000 and a Titan Brebella. So this guy is obviously possibly doing the same trick I am, but just maybe in a weaker. Most of the time, it's a weaker Vince McMahon card. I'll go ahead and play him as an example for you guys. He either will have a Survivor Vince or a WrestleMania 30, Season 2 WrestleMania Vince. I was going to say 33, but that wouldn't make sense. So watch his Vince possibly come out WrestleMania, not SummerSlam. Most likely WrestleMania or Survivor. I'll even slow it down real quick. Nope. Lucky for me, his other support came out. So this guy just has rares, and I think that's about it. Yeah, they're just rares at a higher level, so he could easily be common cards. I wouldn't go with that strategy, by the way, guys. That strategy is just not good. It's not a guaranteed win. Like, it could be guaranteed if he did it correct, but uh, this stat is guaranteed much better. So we destroy him three picks right then and there. That's one-ninth of your board, give or take. You could also run ads here. That will be seven picks per win, pretty much. And you just keep doing the same thing over and over against these guys because these guys just can't touch you. They can't even, they don't even come close. So if you guys want to progress in wild mode, that's the deck you should use. And to get a Vince McMahon, it's not hard at all these days as Fusion Chamber has lowered. Now you can easily get one right here. It takes roughly 12 hours. So 12 20 24 26 you could pretty much do one card a day and hopefully get vince mcmahon it's not hard to get you, you can even settle for a wrestlemania vince mcmahon i wouldn't recommend it though i think it's only plus 70 the deck uh yeah plus 70 the deck i wouldn't recommend that vince mcmahon at all uh I'd just go with the summer slam one you do have like a one in three four five six a one in seven shot of getting it and you get one in one day you'll figure you'll get it out so one day go with vince all right guys so that's gonna do it for this entire tutorial video i hope a lot of you did not enjoy this video i made this purposely because i'm sick and tired of people making the same video four to five times a freaking year instead of just saying check out my old video posting it on the right hand side Instead, they're like, you know what I'm going to do? I know this gets views. I know it's going to get views. I'm just going to make the same video again. Obviously, YouTube will promote it because it's a brand new video. And I'm just going to get all the views I can to make the extra moolah. And, it, and I hate that shit. They, they take freaking full advantage of you. And it's so retarded. And people don't even, don't even realize it. It's, it baffles the living shit out of me how people don't see this. And it's so obvious, coming from another YouTuber, obviously I'm going to know these things. I'm a smart player. I know what gets views. Like me, I had, I was getting sh a shit ton of views when Goliath came out. 
And then obviously I took a break again from the painting and all that. And then views have went back to normal between 700, 800 views to about 1,200 views is what I usually get. I'm guaranteeing you this video right here will do amazing in views. I'm so confident that this video will do amazing on views. So we'll, we'll let, we'll see if it, if, if I don't get more than 1,000 views in one day on this video, I will shut the fuck up for the rest of my life. But I guarantee you, that's not going to happen. So also guys, for the purpose of this video, this whole video will not be monetized. I am not making one cent off this video at all. I'm going to demonetize the entire video. No ads will appear for you unless you are right here from the beginning. There will be no ads in this video. I, I, I'm not all about making money, becoming famous and all that shit. I love the game. I support the game. I play for the game. I support the people that play it. I support the real YouTubers who do it properly. And, and just don't milk it for fucking views and fame. And try to get the call to Cat Daddy in Seattle saying, Hi. No, that's not that's not me. Even if you went to fucking Seattle, I could also go to Seattle myself. Go, go into a studio and probably get arrested. But I can still go there. It's not like I can't. But yeah, I'm sick and tired of all these fucking YouTubers, some of them, who just fucking milk it for views. You're a disgrace. You're jackasses. You know why you do it. You're probably sitting there laughing right now. But hey, Edward says fuck you. All right. And that will do it for today's video, guys. I hope you all enjoyed all the tutorials. Go ahead and take some of them. If you guys didn't know about it, go ahead and take some lessons on it. If you guys ever want to come back, the video will be there. Just go back to that video uh, if someone hits me up in the comments, I will gladly forward you to this video. And that's pretty much it. That's it. You don't have to make another video. All the tricks are in one video. Don't need to move around and figure things out. So that is it for this video. I hope you, most of you enjoyed it. If you guys are, I, I did not enjoy making this video. I fucking hated doing this video. But I just did it to make a fucking point about stuff that people do this just to milk views and get money and get fame it's pathetic at this point so guys thank you all so much if you guys enjoyed this video go ahead and hit that like button no you probably possibly don't hit the like button but go ahead and subscribe because on this channel we go for all the event cards we do it all on this channel we are a top not we i am a top grinder in this game i do it all three hundred thousand and two wins in this game already yes you can say i have no life but i really don't play any other game out there right now in the world besides fortnite and golf i just started i just started to get into golf but who knows how long that will last so yeah thank you all so much for all the love and support appreciate it and uh just remember fuck those clickbaiters fuck those youtubers and that's that we'll see you guys next time here on thursday for ring domination AJ Styles. You don't want to miss it. All right. Have a good grand lads. Thank you for watching. Fuck you clickbait.